What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Views for Build. In today's episode, it's gonna be a fun one. We're getting the Lambo back from paint, so I get to see it done for the first time, which I'm so excited about. We got new wheels and tires for the Lambo, so we're gonna put the tires on the wheels up here, drive down and meet up with the Lambo, and then we're gonna throw the wheels and tires on the Lambo down there, and then we start a road trip 600 miles south down to Sacramento, so we can get some more work done on the Lambo. Stay tuned. Before we get too far into this, I gotta tell you guys, I hurt my eye. I wear contact lenses and I had a, a, some sort of weird malfunction. I must have scratched my eyeball or something. So uh, my eyes are very sensitive to light right now. You might see me wearing sunglasses or my hat very low in these weird situations and wonder what the hell's going on. Um, I, I hurt my eyeball. I broke my balls. My other eyeball still works fine, so we're good to go. So let's go get these uh, tires put on the wheels. All right, so we're here at Double J and we just dropped off our wheel and tire combo and they already took them in there at work, so I'll have to show you those when they get back. That's all that's left. While we're waiting for our tires to get mounted and balanced, I want to take a second out to thank our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Morning Recovery. It's no secret to anybody that I have a pretty healthy nightlife. I enjoy getting out and having a drink once in a while, and sometimes a couple drinks, but then when you have just a few too many, uh, obviously there are some pretty heavy uh, negative effects the next day. You can have headaches, you know, fatigue, and your brain is all fuzzy, and that's where Morning Recovery comes in. Morning Recovery was invented to help combat the effects of a, a long night out of overindulgence, a little too much drinking. The secret ingredient, if you will, behind morning recovery is a thing called DHM, and it's a plant-derived ingredient that helps uh, break down the alcohol-induced toxins in your liver a lot faster so you feel better the next morning. And it could be easier to take. All you gotta do is drink one of these little guys uh, in between drinks when you're out drinking, or you can make it a mixed drink if you want, or you just drink it right before bed. That's what I always do. I come home, grab one off the top of the fridge, drink it before I go to bed. So like I said, I've been using Morning Recovery for years now. Anytime I have it, it gets used. I drink it pretty quickly. Um, and it just, it just makes you feel better the next morning. This is no BS, this is 100% honest. I just feel so much better the next morning. I feel more, uh, a little bit more like, you know, just refreshed, a little bit more ready to start my day, a little bit less, you know, fuzzy brain. So with Morning Recovery, you no longer have to choose between letting loose and having fun the night before and having a good productive day the next day. It's possible. We can have the best of both worlds. And better yet, Morning Recovery has given you 20% off your first order when you use the link in the top of the description below and you use my code B is for build at checkout. All right, we've got the wheels in the back. I can't wait to show them to you, but we gotta go to the shop first. I gotta get Kyle, we need him. Let's go. All right, we're back at the shop. We're getting the trailer hook up. You guys had a lot of comments about us, uh, you know, kind of like jackknifing into the tire. We're gonna have to turn real sharp to make that hit. Uh, but if we do, that's why we got one that we can just detach and move anywhere we want. Anyways, um, onto the wheels. These are our wheels for our Lamborghini. These are uh, Rohana RFX 7s. Um, they're very reasonably priced. They're a one piece wheel. They make them in all sorts of different offsets for luxury cars. And I think they look badass. And the really cool thing about them is these have a, just a bit of directional to them. You can see how it's kind of off and it's mirrored so both sides have the same direction rather than when you flip them on it like one side has direction going one way one side has going the other way. These are mirrored so the right and the left are actually a different kind of casting. So it's really really cool. These are a beautiful wheel uh, that Rohana helped us out with uh, and and it's just they're going to look really really good on the Lambo. So uh, I'm going to put a link in the description as well as you guys know our tire sponsor Nitto. This is their kind of like top of the line luxury vehicle, luxury sports vehicle tire. Uh, I think it's called an Invo, it's I-N-V-O. Um, but you guys know all about Nitto. Just really, really great tire at an affordable price. And I'll put a link in the description as well, but I just wanna thank both of those companies for hooking us up. It's gonna make the Lambo look so much better. But we are late as usual, so we're gonna pack up, we're gonna attach a trailer, and we gotta head down to Eugene. stop for our first fuel up. Kyle's uh, Kyle's doing the driving because my eye is not uh, not doing very well right now. It's so bright outside. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it'll be better tomorrow. I think with this highway driving we've done, we've changed our average up to about nine miles per gallon, which is pretty good. Gas is about four bucks a gallon for premium here. We have to run premium in this truck. Wait till we get to California. I'll show you how much it is. It's going to be crazy. All right, quick hundred dollar fill up. We're back on the road. Next stop, version X auto body for the Lambo.
We're so close. The shop is just around that corner right there. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what it looks like. The paint is done. It looks so fantastic. So you guys remember, that was black, that was gray, that was red, that was red. Was that red? No, that was green. The paint is fantastic. We got an absolutely perfect color match on here. The clear, everything's been re-cleared, so this, everything's been blended. So they, they paint this part, they blend it in with this part, and then that part gets re-cleared. Um, and a lot, a lot of stuff had to be re-cleared on this job. It was one of the big reasons I did not want to do it. But just look in the light, you can see how that green is bouncing with all the flake and everything. It looks so good. So yeah, if you guys want to see the comparison, that's the OEM panel, and then this is the uh, the new paint, and it's it's a dead match. The, the flake is perfect. Everything's perfect. It looks really, really good. They did a better job hanging the door than we did, so the door's hung pr uh, correctly. And then so uh, this gets, you know, re this obviously needed clear because it's a new color, but then this gets re-cleared, this gets re-cleared as well because everything was blended, everything was blended in, so. More than half the car had to be recleared, but it looks phenomenal. The guys at Version X did an amazing job. Definitely Lamborghini quality paint on this thing now. I'm very, very excited. It just looks so much better. I apologize about all the sniffles. My busted eye is making me have the sniffles, but uh, it looks fantastic. This is this is just so cool. I'm so glad that I came to these guys. And so I teased it in the title. The, the, you know, with a paint job this good and the amount of the car being repainted, it was pretty crazy. I got some quotes. I got quotes for 18,000 to do this job from some places out in Washington. I got some quotes for 22,000 from some other shops. Uh, but we got this paint job done for $5,000. And to put that in perspective it was gonna cost me well over a thousand probably closer to 1500 just to be able to buy the paint and knowing me when I make the mistakes I would have spent at least 3,000 in paint alone oh I also forgot to mention that every single panel was taken off and the inside was painted as well so the inside of the fender the inside of the door everything down here we're gonna put our uh, our fender liner in here but everything in there you could see is all perfect like so it's back to OEM is everything that you would expect for five grand it's such an amazing deal all right so before we're ready to hit the road we're gonna get the new wheels on here and the fender liner installed so we're gonna get this thing up in the air and swap out our wheels Oregon weather is being Oregon weather, but you can see how nice these wheels look on here. It's a really, really good match. The only problem that I don't like is that we, we want such a small tire on the rear that it makes the back seem like it's up a little bit too too high. So I'm probably gonna talk to Nitto and see if we can get a tire with a little bit more meat on it. I think it would just look better overall. I like kind of a meaty tire. I think the front looks really good the way that it is, but we should probably try and get a little bit more meat on the back there. But overall, these wheels, they just, they fit the build so, so, so well. I think it looks really great. Now, we got the Raptor, it's pulled up over there. We got our new fancy tilt bed trailer. We're gonna try and get this thing on the trailer. I, uh, I pulled it on a little hard and, and uh, broke a tripod and uh, and then I had to pull it back off because this thing being mid-engine when we pulled it all the way up forward we weren't quite getting enough weight far enough forward so we actually took it back off and backed it on and now we got the right amount of weight just where we want it so we got the Lambo on I'm very excited we got our own trailer now we got a fully painted Lambo it's time to hit the road Well, we got down the road a couple more miles and uh, now that it's dark, we've realized that although our brake lights and our blinking lights are working, but our, our running lights are not working. So you can see the truck, the running lights are on and the trailer, they are not on. And that is not, not good. So uh, I'm gonna jump under there and start messing with the connection and see if we can't solve this problem. Uh, see if it's hopefully, hopefully it's just a small connection issue that we can fix. So we double checked the connection in the back and everything was fine. Uh, so we started popping up the owner's manual and looking at the different fuse diagrams. Uh, under the hood, there are a few different fuses that relate to the trailer and one of them was just missing. 
and the other one I just swapped around. So I basically took some that we didn't have to have. They were both two uh, that operated, you know, the, the 12 volt auxiliary uh, power things on the inter inside of the cab. I stole both of those, flipped one around, and took one off of an empty spot and threw it on the other spot. Not exactly sure which one solved the problem, but now you can see on the back of our trailer, We've got running lights. We have full functioning lights so we can hit the road again, which is fantastic. First thing tomorrow morning, we'll run by an automotive store and buy, they're, they're kind of a specialty, like more of a square fuse. We'll buy a couple of those to replace those and we'll be 100% uh, again. All right, it's about 1 a.m. So we gotta, we gotta call it a night on driving and, and just pick up the slack tomorrow. Uh, we got to this hotel, we were so worried about parking spaces and there's just like nobody here. There's only three guests in the whole hotel tonight. Yeah, there's three floors, all of these rooms. There's <laughs> nobody from there. Yeah, we're in Ashland, Oregon right now. And uh, it's pretty cool though, because they have a security camera right there and it's pointed right at the Lamborghini. So the guy at the front desk can just watch it for us all night. So we're gonna lock up the trailer. Uh, get to bed and then gotta be up early, early, early tomorrow. All right, good morning. It's uh, 7 a.m. the next morning. Uh, we still got a whole Lambo here, so that's good news. And the Raptor's looking fine too, so no problems overnight. We just gotta unlock ourselves and get going. We're gonna hit the road. We got six hours till we hit our destination of Sacramento to be about three hours late. So I haven't really explained the point of this road trip too much, uh, my bad. So we got the truck, trailer, and Lamborghini because we gotta do a couple different things while we're down here. We have three days and we need to try and fix the Lamborghini, get the airbags fixed, the seat sewn back up, and all that stuff. So we're meeting with a company down here that specializes in that. Why we're bringing the truck and the trailer is because we're picking up our next SEMA builds, but we need to put in some work on that before we're even gonna be able to take ownership. So we gotta do those two things in three days, and then if all goes well, we will have the truck with the trailer with our SEMA build on the trailer. The Lambo should be damn near perfect, except for that freaking window. And then we're gonna drive those both back up north, back home. All right, guys, well, we have arrived. We're on Recycle Road in Rancho Cordova, and uh, we're either here to get the SEMA build or to get the, the Lambo fixed. You guys can decide for yourselves. But Kyle did a great job of driving since my eyes, it's getting a lot better, but it's still not 100%. Uh, but we're here, that's it. Fun episodes to come, guys. Please subscribe, please tune in. You will not want to miss this one. We got a crazy project coming up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Peace! Come, come on.